So let's talk about how we can stop forgetting what we studied. So I know for myself when I was doing my civil engineering degree and also preparing for my FE exam, this is something I struggled with. Essentially forgetting what I studied in the previous sections. And nowadays as I help students prepare for their FE and also tutor students for their FE, this is a major concern that I get. Farouk, I keep forgetting what I studied. Or a question may be like this, how do I start forgetting what I studied? Should I move on to the next section? What should I do? So let's briefly talk about why we forget by relating it to something called the forgetting curve. So this curve was hypothesized and it was discovered by a psychologist by the name of Erming Ebbinghaus. And all it says is when we learn something new, our memory or our retention will decline at an exponential rate over time. So let's actually relate this curve to our FE exam. So let's say we're about to study new information and let me just pick the new section of statistics. So we're about to start the statistics section and under that we have subsections. And let's say we want to focus on distributions. So what we're going to cover, let's say normal distribution, you have binomial distribution, T distribution, and so on. So it's going to be new information. So assuming for that new information, you put in good quality study time, distraction free. So let's say for that study time, you did all the practice questions, you watched the lecture videos and took your own lesson notes and summary notes and equation sheets for the lecture videos and the practice questions that you're doing. You use the video solutions for the practice videos as guidance while you were actually, actually practicing. Most importantly, you practice plenty of examples and practice questions, and you struggle through those and learn the essence of the equations and also the concept. So assuming you did that for that new in information for distributions, the curve says that your memory or retention of that new information will decline at an exponential rate over time. So it declines at an exponential rate over time. And let's say depending on the difficulty of the concept it may decline up to 50 50 percent let's say in a matter of one week maybe if it's a very difficult concept or a very difficult topic that you struggled with the memory or your retention of that new information may decline up to 50 percent so a 50 percent reduction in a matter of days maybe two days three days and so on so all you have to know is it's an exponential decline or exponential forgetting rate for the new information we just learned so this tells us that we're naturally going to forget any new information that we study so let's say for the fe exam let's pick the civil fe exam the civil fe exam covers 14 different sections essentially 14 different engineering classes all jumbled up into one exam so it's huge and unless we employ a study structure to actively review what we already learned, you're absolutely going to forget what you learned in engineering economics, let, let's say once you move forward into transportation engineering. So we need a study structure to help us stop forgetting. So here's a big question that I want you to think about. How can we set up a study structure where we are consistently reviewing the material in an efficient manner without constantly going back and having to relearn what we already studied. So to answer this question, I'm going to propose two techniques. So try these out and see which one better suits your learning style. Just make sure that you're actually making progress and you're not forgetting and actually retaining what you already learned. Technique number one. So this one is simple. So for the entire duration of your study schedule, let's say you pick a study schedule of four months. For the entire duration of that four months, one day a week, every single week, you do nothing but review. So you have no new concepts, no new practice problems, no new FE sections, no new anything. So your only job for that day is to review what you already learned from the previous weeks. So for example, let's say you want to look through your practice problems that you already solved, making sure you really understand the process involved and the steps involved to arrive at that final solution. And you want to review the concepts behind those practice problems you solved. 
You want to also look through your notes, your equation sheets, making sure they help you understand the concept and you're making sense of what you already covered. And most importantly, you want to really ask yourself this question. Am I really understanding what I covered? So you have to be honest with yourself. And if the answer is no, that's okay. All that means is you have to reinforce what you already learned. So you, have, you just have to go back, reinforce, maybe do a few new practice problems, making sure you reinforce the fundamental idea, the fundamental process, then you will likely progress to the next section. Now, technique number two. So this one's a little bit more involved, but it's actually the one I recommend. So let's say you can commit to a two hour study time block, which is ideal for most of us. I know you probably work full time, you're a full time student, you just have a lot on your plate already. But you're able to commit to a two hour time block during the week and probably it's a bigger time block on the weekend. But let's just focus on that two hour time block and see how we would break this apart. So this is how you should break it apart and what I recommend. So first of all, for that two hour, start with a review session. So you want to aim for a 15 to 20 minute review session and you just want to review what you learned the previous day or in the previous section. So review what you learn and focus on the concepts or focus on the process. Don't focus just on the equations. Don't focus on memorizing. You want to avoid memorizing at all costs. You want to really understand the concepts involved and the process involved behind each practice question. Also during that review session, you want to review your notes, your equation sheets, your summary notes, just making sure you really understood what you covered in the previous session before you move forward. So then after you do that 20 minute review session, you just take a quick breather, relax, before you dive into learning new information. So now you want to learn new information, you move to the new section, and in this one, make sure you, it's distraction-free in a distraction-free environment that allows you to focus 100%. So you want to be ultra-focused, and this is the most important part of this session, of the study time block. So make sure it's a distraction-free environment, you're ultra-focused, and you're absorbing practicing and learning new information. So after studying this new information or these new topics, you just want to take a quick five minute break. So it's a quick five minute break. You may want to get up, do some quick stretches, do a quick meditation, chill with your pets, whatever it may be. So just make sure you relax a bit, take a quick five minute break before you move on to the last part. So now for the last part. This is the active note taking or the active writing session. So you want to commit about 15 to 20 minutes for active note taking or active writing. So what does that involve? So during this session, you want to create your own notes. You want to create your own summary notes of what you just learned. So possibly you may want to summarize the lecture videos or the, you may want to summarize the key process that you learned in the practice questions. You want to summarize the key concepts or key definitions, have those in your notes. And also you want to probably create your own equation sheet and noting down the very most important equations and the page numbers in the FE handbook. So on exam day, you know where they are in the actual PDF. And also another thing, you also want to probably look for those key terms in the FE handbook and have them in your note taking sheets in your notes or summary notes. So knowing those key terms that you want to search up in the FE handbook will likely save you time on the actual FE exam. So the last session, again, it's about 15 to 20 minutes of active note taking or active writing. So to summarize the technique number two, you start with about 20 minute review session, reviewing what you learned from the previous section. Then you take a quick breather, then you study new information, you watch lecture videos, lesson notes, you do a few practice problems, making sure to always practice. Then you take a five minute break, relax a bit. Then you end your session with about 15 to 20 minutes of active writing or active note taking. So please remember the timing is not set in stone. So you may add 
maybe 30 minutes to your review session and maybe just leave 10 minutes for your active writing or active note taking or maybe you reduce that review session you felt comfortable with what you learned in the previous session or maybe it was it was it, it wasn't as hard so maybe you put 10 minutes in a review session and put more time in the active writing or active note taking maybe 30 minutes for active note taking or active writing so it's adaptable and make sure you adapt it to your needs and always adjust it making sure that you're actually progressing and you're learning this stuff i hope you found these techniques helpful and i wish you the best as you try to implement them in your study structure and lastly if you're looking for a civil fe review course that covers hundreds of relevant practice questions where i walk you through the process and the step-by-step -step solution and also talk about the concept at play behind each practice question we do I will also cover some conceptual questions, lecture videos, and you will also get those lesson notes covering the important concepts that you will absolutely need to know before you take your FE. And lastly, you'll get my unlimited help, guidance, assistance. Just check out the link in the description below. And if you have any question related to the FE at all, just please reach out to me. And I wish you the best and thank you for practicing.